Hey guys, Sean here. Well, I was just making up some more of these uh, extension cables for my uh, firing system. So, uh, I have a total of six 25 footers, each with uh, three terminals. And now I'm doing a 50 footer. This will also have uh, three 50 footers, or uh, three terminals on it. So, I was going to show you guys how I do it. Well, I already went ahead and cut my cables and I marked them in the spots that I wanted to terminate at. So, I've tinned the ends already on this. Where is it? There we go. I already tinned this spot. Now, next is to uh, tin all the uh, terminal leads here. So, we're going to do that. Alright. Hope you guys can see alright. Yeah, that one's done. That one's done. All right. That doesn't take long. All right, let's get you down closer here so you can really kind of see what's going on. All right, this is the pain here. I'm trying to solder these up. Now you notice that uh, one of these cables has a tracer on it. This one's got a white tracer. So that's going to run continuously all the way to my end. So um, in order to do this in series, I'm only using one lead. So in, out, to the next, in and out. And then on the end, it loops back through. So we'll go ahead and we'll solder this up. Where is the big tape measure? There it is. This will try your patience right here, guys. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Let's throw something in here. Kind of heavy. Hmm. Bend that down, I guess. Well, I guess I'll do this one first. So it's a little easier. Hold on. There we go. All right. That's a little warm. Now for this next one. Let's see here. Get this, put that under there. Up there. <laughs> it's always so much easier when you're not trying to video. Yeah, need a little solder. There we go. There you go. All right, let's check that out. It's good solder joints, so we're good. Now we'll go ahead and grab a wood block. Now we'll get that mounted. Just like that. Screws. Let me drive these home. All right. 
So that one's finished. So I went ahead and made these little uh, jumper leads. We're going to put those in there because as I do this, uh, when I'm finished, I'll test it with my old tone meter just to make sure that everything is good. All right, now. Damn it. Now we got to find my next mark. There it is, right there. Okay. Get you guys a better camera angle on here. All right, should be good. Okay, so there's the mark I have. There's the tracer right there. So I'm gonna snip this other one. Give me about a half inch. I'm gonna peel that out of there. Snip. All right. Now I want to make sure. If you see here, the distance between these two terminals. See that? Something like that. Hope you can see that. All right. Then go ahead and strip some wire off. Had these wire strips a long time. Probably 10 years or so. My other ones like this, when I was doing all my audio work, uh, pretty much wore out. I'm sure terminated a lot of, a lot of speaker wire. All right, so we're going to flux it, put some flux on there, and we're going to tin it. that. All right, now we do another terminal. There, let's get you guys a better view on that. This is kind of a pain. that one. Give it a sec to cool. All right. Now we'll do the next one here. The second one's always the hardest. All right. That's yeah, going to get hot. All right, just like that. More solder on there. Okay. There we go. Good strong connection. Okay, now we'll get a block. Insert that into the block. Centered.
that one's done. And we'll throw put one of my little jumper leads in there. All right. Get rid of this rat's nest. Look at that. Pain in the ass. All right. Now for the end. So I'm gonna trim this up square. So we know the white tracer lead has to go all the way through to the end, lead the circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and knock off about uh, three quarters of an inch on this other one. Peel that off, maybe. There we go. Peel this back. Now we're getting somewhere. And then off. Okay, now I'm going to strip about a quarter inch off each end. Give her a twist. Flux it. Then. Grab my solder. Grab my solder. Yeah. All right. What's that? Next, we'll solder this one up. Get some stuff organized here. Okay, it worked. worked. That's hot. Worked out good. I'm going to try to get this soldered. That's a good joint. Now, if this other one, get that loose. Like I said, this will try your patience. <laughs> Check that. Okay, it's solid. All right, I'm gonna throw the other block on. And we'll test it with the volt ohm meter just to make sure everything is good. That's that. So we'll gather up the other blocks. Give me a second. That's one. Put this other lead in here. Get that there. Throw that out over the table saw. Last one, right there. Okay. Let's see here, need some heavy. There we go. Okay, so now we'll check. 
and see if everything's good. So I bought this cheap little uh, volt ohm meter from Menards. Paid like 15 bucks for it. My fluke I had um, was junk. Paid damn near 500 bucks for that thing back when I was doing audio and uh, the screen froze on it. So, all right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So the resistance has gone up like uh, four tenths. That should be all right. I don't know if I want to go any longer than that, though. But uh, we'll see. We'll have to test this out with some e matches and see what happens. You know what? Maybe we'll do that right now. <laughs> We grab some e matches. Be right back. All right. Here we go. So I got three of them right here. We'll just get this wired up quick. Well, I'll grab a 9 volt. Let me see what happens. Right. There's one. Now, normally I would take these and fold them over in half. But for the sake of time, I'm just not going to do that. All right, and the last one right here. All right, let me grab a clamp. Keep those things all together so you guys can see them. See what happens. Three, two, one. <laughs> ha! They all burn. Perfect. So I know the added resistance in the uh, wire is not going to be an issue. So that tells me that I'm going to do a 100 footer with five stations on it. So, all right, guys, there you go. Uh, that's how I do it. It's real simple, it's real cheap. You can get these uh, spring terminals from partsexpress.com, um, speaker cable, all of that. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time, you know. This is a good way to uh, extend the capabilities of your uh, uh, Chinese firing system. So I just run the Alpha Fire Seven. Uh, most of these are going to be ran off uh, sequencers because uh, I got some cool things I want to do for the uh, for my show in September. So, all right, guys, take care. Talk to you later.